Good day, it's Konstantin. Today we will be recording a, an upright piano. Now, as I said in every video that I made, and this is something I truly believe, is that 50% of the good sound comes from the musician and the instrument. And of course, the recording environment plays an important role. Unfortunately, out of all of these, we only have the good musician part. Today we are joined by composer and songwriter Harry Nicholson and he will be playing uh, a piece by Martin Kerr called Ragtime Piano. If you want to know more about Harry and Martin, just check the description box and see what they're up to. Now, with the piano, you have to let it breathe a bit. So I've taken off the top and bottom panel and I moved away from the wall because the reflections will color the sound. And then again, that might be something that you want. So always experiment and try to go for the sound that you want instead of trying to fix it in post. Uh, let's have a look at some stereo and mono techniques. For the first one, we're going to have a look at XY. I've placed the mics about 20 centimeters away from the strings and they are pointing between the strings and the hammers. Now be aware that this is close marking, so we will get some sound from the hammers and some proximity effect as well. Let's have a listen. So again XY but this time we move further back and we're above the musician's head. So obviously with this one you're just going to get more of the environment and it has a bit more air to it. Let's have a listen. ORTF, again a stereo technique, uh, like before I'm above middle C and I am 20 centimeters away from the piano and I'm pointing again between the hammers and the strings right here. Let's have a listen. Like before, ORTF, and this time above the musician's head. So the distance between the piano and the mics uh, is 90 centimeters. And of course, you're going to get more of that uh, recording environment, which in our case is not very good. But let's have a listen. Okay, now this time we are marking the back of the piano and uh, not just mic the front, sometimes the back can give you good sound as well. I'm using ORTF again and this time I'm a bit, I'm slightly higher than uh, the keys. And the distance I'm about like 50 centimeters away, but again, do experiment with that. Okay, uh, A, B, spaced pair. I have one mic in front of the bass strings and one mic in front of the treble. And the distance is 30 centimeters away from the strings and then three times that 90 centimeters away from each other. Let's have a listen.
AB spaced pair once again but we move them further back and we're getting a bit more of the environment in there as well. Uh, let's have a listen. Okay, now uh, the front, the back and the bottom. You have to try all of this and see what sound you can get, but you can just mic the bottom as well. Take the, the panel off and experiment with it. Now in this one, the bass strings are on the right side and the treble is on the left side. So make sure that your left side, to have audience perspective, uh, is this side here where the bass strings are. Now we are a bit close as well. And let's have a listen on this one and then we'll move them back a bit and see how it sounds. Okay, spaced pair again at the bottom of the piano. Now before the previous take we were about 30 centimeters away, for this one we are 45 centimeters away. Now let's have a listen. A, B at the back of the piano. We are 25 centimeters away from the back panel and three times that between the mics, 75 centimeters. As before, we're a bit higher than the keyboard. And uh, let's have a listen. This one's a bit different, so what you do for this one is you cover one ear and just go close to the piano while your musician is playing and just find the right spot that you want to mic. And uh, I, for this one I had me play just the bass and see where the bass sounds best to me and then just the right hand. And of course a combination of both, you have to make sure they both work together nicely. And from what I found is where the strings cross was the best one. In, in this piano. So let's have a listen. Okay, if you only have one mic, there are two techniques you can try. Either go up close you know, near the hammers or get some more ambience. Just go above the musician's head. In this case, we are above the musician's head, pointing to the hammers. Let's have a listen. And last one, same thing, mono technique, bring the mic closer, experiment a bit, go down the hammers, go higher up to the strings. Uh, in this case, I'm, I'm above middle C, about 25 centimeters away, and I'm pointing to the middle. So if you want more bass or more treble, just find the right balance and experiment. Let's have a listen.